I'll be honest, I didn't want to make this video today. For one, I made a dumb mistake. And for two, I didn't take my own advice. I know how to wire LifePo 4 batteries in series, in parallel. In fact, I know how to wire all batteries in series, parallel, series, parallel, you name it. And I've been working with DC power for some 30 years. However, I nearly burned down my shop and probably nearly killed myself and almost blew up a LifePo 4 battery. And I could have avoided it all had I taken my own advice. So before you touch another battery bank, you need to see this damage and learn about the one device and perhaps the thing that you shouldn't be when trying to demonstrate how to wire batteries in series. Now, like most folks that work with off-grid or work with DC power, solar power, power stations, whatever, I figured, well, series wiring is just so simple. Any wiring is simple, frankly, as far as I'm concerned, at least for me, I've done it for so long, I just don't think about it. You know, you connect positive to negative, and then you take the positive and negative if you're doing two batteries, and you connect it up to whatever you need to connect it up to, a power station, inverter, or whatever. It's pretty straightforward. I've got my own off-grid cabin. I built everything there, live there for some time, and then continue to go out there regularly. So how hard could it be? But there's one simple safety component that I completely ignored and it nearly cost me everything. And there's one simple thing you should do or one simple state of mind you should be in when wiring up batteries and I didn't do it and that almost cost me. You've probably seen videos of people having house fires with LiPo 4 batteries and I gotta be honest, I'm kinda nervous right now wiring up these batteries. I did wire them up and I'll show you that now, but it was a bit of a shock, no pun intended, folks. So let's go ahead, let me show you a proper series connection and I'll connect it up to a power station and show you how that works and we'll, we'll run a voltmeter so I can show you that too. So let me do that real quick here. Okay, we've got an Opus power station there that we're going to provide extra power to with these two cycle and bat minis that are wired in series. I will connect to the Opus between these positive and negatives. The second positives and negatives are wired in series. So you have one negative here, you can see the cable going down there and to the positive over here. So negative to positive and then the negative and positive here will run over to the Upus Anderson connection so that we could charge it up. Now let's take a, a voltage reading here. We'll go from this positive to this negative and you can see I've got 27.67 volts. I'm gonna have to drain the Opus down so that we can actually see it take some power. Okay, while that's draining, I'm gonna show you the app that demonstrates that we are actually pulling power off the batteries because I couldn't see it on the front of the Opus. And as you can see on the app right now, we're up over 400 watts that we're drawing off the batteries. Now, before I get crazy and do something I shouldn't do, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect everything here. And if you've got those little plastic caps that comes with the batteries, that's a good idea to use those too. Here's exactly what I did wrong. I have two batteries, two cycle and bat, 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour mini batteries that I needed to connect in series to show you how to do it. So what did I do? Well, I connected up the positive and negative of the two batteries and then I was distracted and I did something else. First, I had not put a fuse in. I often say you should put a fuse in. And again, you really should put an inline fuse here. It's a good idea to do that. I've had viewers comment you should put a fuse in. I know you should put a fuse in. In fact, I've blown fuses before. It's not the first time. People do make mistakes, accidentally going negative or positive or something like that. Boom, up the fuse goes. You don't get a spark show. You don't blow anything other than the fuse. You go, uh-oh, what did I do? Oops, I did that. And then you put a new fuse in and you do it right. So I didn't put the fuse in. But the other thing was I was distracted. And folks, you really should not allow yourself to be distracted when working on batteries. Now I have to tell you, when you're doing YouTube videos, you tend to be concentrating on trying to do a video, trying to make sure that you get the shots and you, you, you say the things that you wanna say, and you don't repeat yourself too much and all that kind of stuff. And so I was kind of distracted because I was thinking about what I was trying to present to you and not really thinking about what I was doing. And I connected up that first cable, which is what you're supposed to do. And rather than connect up something to the other two posts or other two terminals that I could connect, say, to a power station or an inverter, I actually went to connect them together. And that's not what you're supposed to do. And while I'm trying to talk about what I'm doing, I went and I touched that second wire to the second terminal, the positive terminal, and it blew up in my face. Positive, positive. Positive, positive. positive.
honestly, I stood back for a second and I thought, what did I do? And then frankly, I said, F um, I was stunned. What the hell did I just do? And then it dawned on me, Eric, what are you doing? <laughs> you, what are you doing? It's crazy. So number one, I should have put a fuse in. If I had put a fuse in appropriate for the wiring that I would be using to connect to something or at least a hundred amp fuse, then the fuse would have blown first rather than blowing up the terminal on the battery and you should see the damage. Now I'm gonna tell you, I actually cleaned it up right away just to try to see whether or not I had destroyed the battery and amazingly enough, I had not destroyed the battery. The cycle and bat BMS actually did its job. It protected the battery and I had full voltage afterwards. I cleaned up the terminal and I couldn't even get the terminal screw into the terminal because folks, it melted the terminal screw and it melted the terminal itself and some of the threads. So I had to get an M8 bottom end tap and tap out the terminal again so that I could get a screw in it. Now the battery management system monitors the battery and it protects it from over voltage, from cross polarity, from low and high temperatures, all that kind of stuff. And in this case, modern LifePo4 batteries like the Cycle and Bat Mini that I'm demonstrating here has a good BMS in it and it stopped anything from happening beyond that initial explosion that I was faced with. I should have had a fuse. I should not have been distracted, but I didn't and I was and it nearly cost me a lot. Fortunately for me, it actually only cost me four bucks because I just had to get a tap, tap out that terminal and I could connect everything up. So those two things are really, really important. One, you should have a fuse appropriate for the wiring that you're using. The other thing is don't be distracted. Don't let yourself be distracted. I did. I allowed myself to be completely distracted, totally off, off my rocker when it comes to wiring up these batteries and it nearly cost me, nearly cost me a lot. Well, there you have it, folks. I hope my mistakes help somebody else not make them. I'm pretty lucky. Uh, thanks to the Cyclone Bat BMS, I was fine. I was able to save the battery. All is well in the world, but that was a pretty egregious mistake. And so I hope you don't make it. Use a fuse. Don't be distracted. Pay attention to what you're doing. I certainly need to remind myself of that. So anyway, there you have it. Thank you to all of my members. I really do appreciate your support. It keeps me motivated, helps me make more content. So thank you very much for that. And in the meantime, I'll throw another video right here for everyone to check out. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Y'all have a great day. The old jar hit out. Positive, positive. <laughs>